Hey guys, what's happening? Hope everyone's doing good. Today we're going to look at how to brighten an image in Photoshop. Okay, so this is really, really straightforward, and we've got a dark image here. It's the first image in a series of uh, frames that I took, um, and I just messed up my settings a little bit, so this first one's a little bit dark. Um, I did end up using one of the brighter ones, um, but let's say we really wanted to use this one for whatever reason. Well, we, it's going to need to be a little brighter because it's underexposed right now, um, or in other words, a little bit too dark. Um, so we need to get that brighter. Okay, so real simple technique. We're going to jump into curves. Now, bear in mind there are other ways of doing this, so you will see other people doing it differently. But I'm going to use curves. Okay, so we're going to grab the curves in the middle there, which is our midtones. I'm going to drag it nice and up. Okay, so hopefully you can see that image getting brighter there. Um, which is nice, you know, the skin's nice um, exposure-wise. This hair is a little dark. I'd really like to get some detail back in there. So I'm just going to lift the shadows end as well, okay? So remember, this is a starting canvas for the image that we might want to put contrast and do lots of different editing to, but this is the starting image, okay? So that's before and that's after. You can see that we can see the detail in the hair now, which is fantastic. Okay, now the one pitfall we do need to be careful of is noise. Now, noise is nowhere near as bad as some people suggest it is, but you do want to be a little bit careful. Okay, this image was shot probably at ISO 1600 or 3200, which for me is, is something I shoot at a lot. Um, this noise is okay. I, I'm absolutely happy with that because it looks kind of nice. It's um, very random. If you've got to be careful with your camera when you're brightening these images that sometimes you'll get weird grid patterns in the in the noise and it'll look ugly and nasty um, and if it's obvious it's nasty okay now this image is not going to print or anything like that so that's this isn't really a problem so just be careful of noise um, but at the same time do not worry too much about it um, especially when you're starting out and just getting creative okay so that's image brightening, um, really nice and simple, um, and we will look at a couple of different ways to do this um, a little bit later as well. Okay guys, so if you head over to uh, thematlab.com forward slash PS, um, I've got some awesome free uh, Photoshop resources uh, that are coming out shortly, and uh, you can get hold of those if you go ahead and sign up to the email list.